Este es el reggae que empieza a sonar Va de Vilcabamba hasta las orillas del mar Este es el reggae que empieza a sonar Va de Vilcabamba hasta las orillas del mar Lleva el mensaje de hermandad y sanación Curremos a la pacha, derrumbemos Babilón Lleva el mensaje de hermandad y sanación Curremos a la tierra, derribemos Babilón Hello beautiful family of Alegría, welcome! We are here once again sharing a new process, breathing into our greatness. Now in Sedona, Arizona, with infinite love, radiating our insights and realizations from the A-Day process. As you know, we are traveling around the world, sharing the message of the infinite potential and our capacity to take advantage of the cosmic energy through every breath that we take. Here we are now with Deborah, she's a beautiful neurologist that lives in Seattle and she has came to Arizona to live the experience of the AD process. And I'm here to ask her also to, to share with you guys some of our insights. So please can you introduce a little bit yourself and let us know how was the process for you and how it is, what it is the AD process for you. Well, to, to introduce a little bit about myself, I'm a neurologist and an osteopathic physician and I've been doing uh, healing with my hands for many years. And I'm also an ordained minister in the Christian church and spent many years in the Buddhist uh, 42 <laughs> and also in the Hindu tradition and I grew up Orthodox Jewish. And for my whole life, I've been searching for God in, well, in the have God, but looking for something that, that didn't let me down and uh, I could find joy in all of these paths, but then at the end something let me down. But what could I do? I have to try one more time. And when I, somebody sent some email and just sent the name of the breatharian couple and went to the website, then I just saw the, about the process and in my heart and in my whole being, every fiber said yes. And so, you know, I was hoping, but I, I didn't really know because of my previous experiences. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's um, really difficult to put into place because this work is so subtle and so soft and so easy. And in every path before, I was what, ah, ah, trying so hard and pushing, pushing. And the main message that came out was surrender. And for the first time, I felt not just the peace, but the safety and the love of you and the group so that I was able to do that. And I was also able to go out and have fun and, and then to realize that God's in charge and that all I have to do is surrender and let go and that everything is perfect that comes. And, and all my dreams came true in six days. <laughs> all my external dreams and all my internal dreams in my you know, since other people are talking about it, now my internal dream was to be also a manifested um, master in this lifetime, and I have visions of it, and what I, the love and the t wisdom and teachings I want to give humanity, but I could never see every day was a dark day, a dark day, you know, like, in God would say, not yet, not yet, and er then I would see, well, everything adds, you know, in this week I could see every piece, you know, just wait on God, and then it, it will blow your mind, be beyond anything you could ever conceive or perceive or, or design for yourself. And I had visions of, of a university, and visions of a conference in, in consciousness, and, and visions from the inside and the outside all came to truth, all came to fruition. And then you always hear everybody saying, oh, your, your family will come, you know, 
Okay. And also they say, help will be sent to you. God didn't forget you. Help will come. Okay. But now, in this week, I got everything. So it was a miracle. It was a joy. It was a privilege. It was an honor. It was something I don't know if I work lifetimes for or who could say what you deserve. But it's only in divine divine order and in, in God or, ordained this to happen. And so we could see all the truths that we were searching after and that all the dreams, all the beliefs are really true and, and that somehow this process brought this all together on a level that um, I, I never knew could be. And, um, and, and, you know, I feel very much a part of driving humanity as part of my course from the lower aspects of man to the higher aspects because we are at that, the apex or <laughs> the bottom of the curve. And now this kind of a work is what's the truth and the consciousness and the purity and the skills. I don't know how you do it because it just happened, but it's driving humanity up to, to everyone to be a higher man and a higher woman and a higher individual and to, to complete the circle of God and the circle of life that we're all a part of. It also, what I've been mostly living in my head in, in bringing down these formulas of the creation of the universe and how consciousness is at the core. But, but through this process, things that have come that downloaded, so to speak, I was able to see in, in my mind's eye and to, to live and to see the truth even deeper, deeper, deeper truths of eternal nature. And, and this just all blossomed and the people here are so beautiful and each person had something to give me and had a peace. And I, I just have no wor really no words to, to say. Well, I guess I'm using words. But um, from all that I know as a neurologist, and all that I know in healing, and all that I know from all the spiritual paths, and all the wisdom, and all the knowledge and information, it, it, it all came together in a miraculous form. And uh, God bless you. <laughs> mm. Wow, yeah, there really is no word because this what is happening within us goes beyond our expectations of what our mind can really tr try to understand. So all these messages that we are sharing with you guys uh, through this media is just to open your heart to the infinite possibilities that you have to really recognize your divine power and to allow the power of God to be what guides you in your experiences, what gives you the nourishment for your new ideas, for your new projections, and the conclusion of all your desires in this lifetime. Thank you for sharing your perspective. Well, your yeah, well, the thing also is that, that the, for the first time I can come into my full power, and I've always been hiding, and, and I'm sure many people have, because we have gifts and we have visions and we have dreams, and we've been knocked down by society and by the way the culture is. But now's the time for all of us to step into this power of God and to let God handle it and that everything that we can dream of or think of will manifest for our highest good and be right there. The, the, you know, the, the struggle is over. Mm. That's also what I feel, Sister. Through you and through the whole experience here is like a, all what we were looking for, that the space that we were trying to reach for all this lifetime and also other lifetimes get synchronized in this experience, in this lifetime, here in this moment of eight days, in this capsule, in the time and space in which all came apart in, in the perfect place to synchronize and from this all our karma and all our baggage that was being carried now is being released and we can start free and with clarity, with projection to manifest those beautiful desires and intentions that we hold in our lives to create in this lifetime. And I think the synchronicity is the key. It's like we couldn't have dreamed up all of this. All of our disparate dreams and visions and hopes 
every, every, every piece came together and fulfilled. And, and the other thing is that now we have a tool to go out and continue in this vein. It's not something that's going to leave us. Mm. That's beautiful, yeah, because we have the power of the bread. Yes. God flowing through us with every bread. And that's so beautiful to feel that company and that safeness also. Yes. We are experiencing that and I feel it through you. And in these days, all your conversations and all your ideas, I have seen you writing your, your news projections about your conferences that you want to create in Seattle and all that. Is, I just see just so much beauty being expressed in those messages that you are creating and also how you are downloading this information to put all this together. And it's been so easy. You know, we all have dreams. We all have hopes. We all have something we want to do, want to share our gifts. And this didn't just do it in a, in a uh, abstract fashion. I actually have concrete people. I wanted to make books. I wanted to make a movie. I wanted to make a university. I wanted to make a conference. And all the pieces of the people that I needed and the contacts are here. You know, everybody kept saying, it's coming, it's time, it's coming, it's time, it's coming, and uh, all will happen. And it, it happened. Mm, because you are permitting it to happen. Yeah, and that's beautiful because your heart is open. Well, I always thought I would per was permitting it to happen. But the point is there's something in your process that allowed and facilitated and, you know, caressed us. And I, there's something happened. It, I've always wanted to be willing. So on some levels it's in the mind, it's in the heart. I'm willing, I'm trying, I'm trying. What more do you want from me, God? But there's a miracle here that's so subtle you can't put your finger on it. But it works. And I bless you and I thank you, beautiful man. Mm -hmm. And in that heart pulsing together our heart's beauty. I've been looking a long time. <laughs> the path is over. Yes, <laughs> the struggle is done. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so beautiful to share this. This is so easy. Yeah, and you all have access to these beautiful experiences. It's in your heart. Now and forever will be accompanying you. And now we're going to continue sharing more perspectives with other participants. And we continue here in Alegria, elevating our consciousness to the infinite possibilities that the pranic nourishment or just the capacity to open our heart to the flow of the universal creation through us and the ways how that can manifest in our physical body, mental, emotional, and also in our soul. Because I feel like when we open our soul, when we give chance to our soul to really be present into our experience, the flow of energy from God can flow to our soul and can release all the layers upon our emotions, mind and body. And now also bringing the topics about the healings that the A day process have been created in many people around the world, from cancer to HIV and many, many other chronical things that actually the science uh, has been not able to really conquer those states in the being. And now just to the allowance of the pranic source to flow to us, we have beautiful manifestations and actually now I am here with Cheryl and she is going to share about her experience in the, in the process and the healings that she has received through it. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> I am so honored to be at this, this uh, beautiful teachings, amazing teachings. Um, I have uh, been on a path since 99 with my health and uh, just I dealt with the medical at one point at the early point um, I took radiation and chemo at the their most severe levels 
and uh, because it was very aggressive tumor and, and cancer and uh, it was to consume me in three months. I did work on it for a year on my own just through diet and, and uh, health keepers and um, but however I lost I got myself in so much pain that I'd lost sight of it and I ended up in into the system and uh, and so once they got me in for pain relief they just shipped me off to the cross cancer and that's where I spent two months and um, intense radiation and chemo and uh, the radiation um, severely burned my whole uh, lower end and and to the point where I didn't have hardly any feeling and it put me instantly into menopause um, they told me that the uh, chemo was going to give me another type of cancer and also would take memory away from me mm -hmm. and uh, so I've always been on a journey from one, one um, holistic healer to another and, and the diet and the healers, they always kept me kind of above board. Uh, I know I, some of the circumstances were hard to do. I know I didn't have all my ducks in a row to pull it off on my own. Um, I didn't have the proper tools. Uh, so, however, I've been on this journey since 99, and uh, when I come across this one, I knew that this is the journey that I had been looking for, and I felt in my heart, uh, just felt, I just knew it was the one I needed, and uh, I signed up for it, and I just prepared myself, and just I was just so in love with this whole process of, of coming here and and just knew that it was going to, this was the final one. And I could feel it just by studying Akai and Camilla's YouTube and uh, it spoke to me very, very clear to my heart. It resonated, the truth resonated very well with me. and. So through our sessions that we've been doing, I've been experiencing some amazing, amazing um, little journeys here. Um, one was by uh, the the had working going on inside my head, like clearing and clearing and clearing. You could just feel it for probably a day and a half, and and came to uh, the breath shop in the morning to our workshop and uh, I seem to have a flashback of a little hissy fit and <laughs> at that moment after I got bit through it I realized it was it was the process when they wanted to give me the chemo and I the stubbornness in me and stuff and and uh, I realized by putting it all together that it was just it was just the chemo come that was clearing out of my brain cells was actually the whole enactment I was doing. And um, I had uh, no feeling down in the pubic area, the root chakra, and uh, I had just energy flowing by day five. The energy was flowing. It was just a very incredible, incredible feeling to have back. And um, I've had a shoulder problem for 20 years and, and uh, also a lower back and hip injury that I was told was going to, I'd have to take care of throughout my life. And and uh, it's released and the the energy going down into the tissues of my leg was just most incredible when it started coming through you could really feel it uh, doing the healing in the tissues and I just wow I'm just like where do you get this <laughs> you know <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's so amazing I, I just don't don't know what to say. I have my man at home and uh, would have 
liked to come but was probably a little apprehensive on it because he's just stepping into the spiritual world of it all and so he got all curious and went on YouTube and watched Akai Sites and Camilla and uh, the birth of their, their beautiful son and uh, that whole process of, of conception and all that they brought this little boy in and on, on a breatharian note and so he's been following along at home and just cannot believe the truth he's feeling in his heart. He's just so so opened up to it just by watching this and and I speak to him once in a while through the process and he's just amazed, amazed with it and his heart is so in it. And so he's He's now a believer, just hearing my my healings that have been happening and watching your stuff, and it's it's just incredible. And uh, I it, like I say, it's been a journey, journey, journey. And I hit the top of the mountain, and I'm just like, woo! <laughs> We're there. <laughs> I'm really excited for the rest of my life because I know it's going to be just, it's, it's all about joy now, happiness, joy and love and living in the moment and, and just being with it and uh, life is easy now, life is easy and I'm so grateful. And I know it's not something like a workshop that comes and goes. This one is here. It's here. It's in me. And it ain't going nowhere. It's <laughs> keeping me going each and every day. Mm. Mm. And I'm very grateful for, for the process you have done to bring this to an eight-day process with you and your beautiful wife, Camilla. Yeah, it's just amazing. Mm, it's a gift for me to see you so happy and so mm -hmm. realized with yourself, knowing that you already are in your perfect body, enjoying your life. You can continue developing it with your family, with those beings that you love, sharing also the confidence that you have in the power of God now, in the power of the Spirit flowing through us, and also being a reflection of those manifestations through your healings and to your clarity in your mind and all these beautiful ways that is expressing through you, sister. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for you and as you know, it's all yours. It's accompanying you eternally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Akai. When anybody gets this opportunity, it's it's one in a lifetime and that's all you need because then you're set. <laughs> it's just amazing, amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I just wonder if, I guess I just all of a sudden realized that Lloyd said the same thing. I had to, I got to pinch myself to see if I'm real. <laughs> I almost feel the same way. Like, it's amazing that something like this has come about. It's, it's cutting edge of healing your, our lives, reuniting as one. The silence that sets everything beautiful love that we are radiating to each other and through the humanity. Mm, just being our presence, being who we are, we are manifesting the heaven on earth mm. now. Mm. Now I just want to go ahead and build the place for you to help teach the people. Mm, thank you, sister, for co-creating with us, you know. We are mm -hmm. just newer pioneers in this and all the love, the support that we can receive from all of you and all of you, thank you so much, infinitely. And that's a beautiful intention, to co-create and expand this joy around the world, around your place where you live, to radiate to other beings. It's a beautiful gift that we can continue to share. And everyone's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm.
we continue here now with Lincoln Herger, a beautiful, beautiful brother that I have the honor to meet in this journey mm, here in Arizona and Sedona. He was also one of the persons that helped us to create here the space and to share this in this part of the world. So I'm introducing you. I also welcome you to watch and to contemplate his work on YouTube, many beautiful teachings from this part of the world in this new state in which we are, that we are bringing this consciousness and teachings in an easy way for humanity. Lincoln, I believe Lincoln is one of the master generation as we are and I welcome him to you guys. And also he is being participating in the 8 day process. We did the uh, three, day three days without drinking and now we are in the sixth day. And he also feels ready and open to share with you guys some of his experience. Thank you, Okai. Okay. Yes. So it's been an absolutely extraordinary week, and it's not over yet, <laughs> which just fills my heart with even more love and happiness. I've met so many beautiful people here, mm. heard amazing stories of transformation that happen when you open your heart to God within, to the breath of life within, and you cooperate with this process of healing. I've seen miracle after miracle happen, there's far more going on in this process than what we're doing here. There's beings around us. There's energy fields moving through us. There's so much transformation that happens in this work. And honestly, I'm quite amazed <laughs> that Akahi is able to bring it through because it's, it's enormous. Um, this man has a huge heart, a huge presence, so much divine love and divine light. And it's truly a joy just to be next to him just to be with him. Mm. So I'm very, very grateful and I look forward to seeing what other work he can do in this world because like myself, we've only just begun <laughs> and we're waiting for you to come along in this journey to realize who you are, to open up yourself, your inner love, your inner light to this world and to let it shine and then you too will do miraculous things as you give yourself into life like Akahi and his beautiful wife Camilla and a beautiful child in Tihau. Mm -hmm. This is an absolutely amazing experience. And if you are interested in expanding your consciousness and learning more about the sacred breath and the life force energy that exists within you, if you're interested in healing, if you feel guided from within, then please do consider this work. It's really quite profound. Thank you, Brother. Thank you for sharing. I told you from the beginning and also in the last sharing that we have in the circle here with the group, it's been a really honor and from the beginning when we connect together and now seeing us together bringing this beautiful information, enveloping this group with different insights and perspectives because you have your greater perspective, I have my greater perspective and this getting together here is bringing more and more resources to the group and to all what it is. Uh, expressing just the word of God, the love of God through us and enveloping this valley. We have touched many souls in this valley in Sedona, many beautiful people that just uh, being conscious that we are doing the process here have just opened their hearts and their minds to this possibility and they are already shining. Today we went outside to, to be in the world and everybody is just so blissful to see all of all the group shining faces all rejuvenated also it was like so beautiful so yes i feel really happy to have you here and all this beautiful group and from here you know we are sharing this with infinite love just to be inspiration for you to let you know that you have that power also the love of god is already wandering the moment that you permitted to flow through you and to give you the magic of the experience of life you deserve the best you are here to experience the best. And God, the spirit of creation, knows exactly how to give you that. Just permit it. Open your heart. Here and now. Breathe. The key is in the breath. We love you so much. Receive this from our greatest intention to you. And enjoy it and integrate it in the way how you feel. This is our gift for you. This is Alegria TV sending you love, consciousness, wisdom with every breath that we take. Bye bye until the next time.
seamos un 